Selka. Hello, everybody. My name is Sniping is Fun, and I welcome you back to the 20th character on this official list of Sniping is Fun's Smash Brothers 5 Newcomer Smash Brothers Switch Newcomers Ideas, Speculation, Predictions, What the Heck Else Ever Newcomers. I've talked about 19 characters so far. We're finally at number 20, and uh, I didn't get to even give you a hint or a idea or just throw the character out there with the Shantae video last time because I was cut off if you were wondering at the end of the Shantae video why it just abruptly ends. My phone was being stupid and I didn't know I had to get more memory and delete stuff so <laughs> it stopped. But I was near the end anyway so it doesn't matter. I finished the Shantae video which was character number 19. Character number 20 jumps us back into the world of Fire Emblem but instead of talking about a potential Fire Emblem 16 character we're talking about a legit character this time, and that's going to be a character, one of the two main characters from Fire Emblem Echoes, Fire, which is Fire Emblem 15, on the Nintendo 3DS, that character being Celica. Now, Celica is a interesting character from that game, one of the main two characters alongside Alm. We're going to be getting to him much, much later. He is somewhere else down the list, so I'm going to make sure to talk about both of them. But I want to talk about Celica first because I feel Celica needs to be the one to talk about first because I think she's a little bit more original. So, just like always, three different categories. Why do I feel Celica makes sense for Smash Brothers? What are moveset potential ideas I could see for her? And percentage chance I could see her in Smash Brothers. Now, why do I think Celica makes sense for Smash Brothers? First and foremost, she is one of the two main characters in a recent Fire Emblem game, Fire Emblem Echoes, on the 3DS, which was a remake of Fire Emblem Gaiden, which is the second Fire Emblem, way back on the original Famicom, never came to outside of Japan, so we can't say NES in that situation. She's one of the two main characters, and she's pretty popular and demanded for, which, like I've mentioned numerous times, I don't value that much of her popular, uh, popularity and, you know, demand over, you know, recency, relevancy, and push from Nintendo. But she is a heavily popular character. I do see her requested quite a bit, both from character, you know, both from people in Japan and like America and whatnot. She seems to be for people who are not predicting Fire Emblem 16 getting a character, or for those people out there that are still trying to push for older characters like Lin and whatnot. She's pretty much right in the middle. Still heavily, she's pretty much heavily requested for. She is one of the two main characters from the most recent Fire Emblem game, not counting the Switch game coming out at the end of this year. Um. She is heavily popular and demanded for. It is a classic character revived, so I think it'd be kind of cool for them. I think that kind of puts them a little bit, like, puts, like, Alm and Celica in an interesting area where it's not going to be, like, a new, new character. It's a remake of an older game, so maybe they want to go and take that remake and then give us a character from an older game. So I think that's the reason why she might make sense, her or Alm, because Echo's being remade, you know, Guide being remade into Echo Shadows of Valentia might make that game stand out as a character if they do not want to wait for a Fire Emblem 16 character or if we have two newcomers and they do that for Fire Emblem 16 then they include someone from Echoes as well. It stands out as a very relevant, very recent game that's currently in the industry right now and most people have played within the last year, at least Fire Emblem fans and whoever's been getting in the Fire Emblem. Like I've said, it's a, it's a recent game so far, not including the 16 one coming out. She's one of the two main characters from it, and she is one of the more heavily pushed characters from that game. She has an appearance in Fire Emblem Heroes on the mobile phone. She was the, you know, Echo, Shadows of Valentia, Gaiden, whatever character picked for Fire Emblem Warriors. Alm didn't make it in the Fire Emblem Warriors, neither did anyone else from the game. Tobin, Gray, what the heck else ever. She was the character picked, so it seems like she is heavily being utilized in the stuff outside of her own game, not just in the remake of Gaiden and the Echoes, but she's been used in Heroes and Warriors, so it seems like she's being used a whole lot lately, and I think if she's being used in the spin-offs, she could very well be used in a, a spin-off like Smash Brothers as well. She's been used in spin-offs of Fire Emblem itself. She'd be used probably in a spin-off collaboration, hodgepodge of all the Nintendo characters, all the video game characters, a big fighting game series from Nintendo and Smash Brothers. So that's the reason why I think Celica would make sense for Smash Brothers. She's from the most recent entry in the series, not including this upcoming Switch one. She's one of the two main characters from it. She's probably the most interesting main character from it. It's a remake of a classic game, so it's bringing an old character to light. 
unlike you know some of the old characters that get requested but don't really have that much of you know recent appearances she has a recent appearance and they modernized her and made her more interesting sorry and she's been used in the spin-offs like heroes and you know warriors so what about like a smash brothers spin-off like the big collaboration with nintendo and other but you know, other video games and third parties and whatnot that's basically my reason for why i think she makes sense to get in it's pretty good reasoning there, both in her series and outside of her series, in the main series, in spin-offs, and in her terms of popularity and demand. Moveset potential, she does kind of, this is the same category, she does kind of fall into the Robin category of a character that knows sword fighting alongside magic. And I know that makes her, that people would probably much say, oh, she's going to be a Robin clone, a Robin clone. I don't honestly think so. I think she has a chance to be very different from Robin. And like I mentioned when I talked about Ribbon Girl in a co sorry, this is, I need to make sure this comes off. Come on. Yeah, sorry about that. That was my phone saying the battery was low. Okay, let's finish this. Like what, like two videos ago when I mentioned Ribbon Girl was like kind of like a Falco to Springman's box. You know, like a Luigi Roy type of thing, like a semi-clone. I think she might be a semi-clone to Robin, but there's enough difference to make her Luigi-fied, to make her different. And that might also mean changing up Robin a little bit too. I see Robin as more of a, a mage character with so, where the sword is like a side thing. And that's the reason why the sword kind of, you know, after you use it after a while, it kind of gets thrown away. Like reverse that. Make her more of a sword user. And I know people will probably hate me for that, but it's like, like you can make sword users different. I don't really care. Like, but magic is her side thing because I really don't think magic is her main, main thing. Her sword is her main, main thing. But when it comes to Robin... It's the reverse. He's more of a mage, a tactician mage with tomes. And the sword's like secondary. It's like reverse for her. So I'd say modify Robin's moveset to focus more about around magic and less around the sword. And then make her moveset focus more around the sword and less around magic and give her different magic attacks. The smash attacks will basically be sword swipe. She's jabbing with sword. She's swiping with sword. She has her sword right here in her hand. It's not a falchion. It's not like, you know, Ike's sword, it's a different sword, so it's not like it's in the line of like the Falchions and everything, it's a different type of sword. She will use that as her smash attacks. It's kind of basic and everything, it throws her in the same category as say Ike and Marf and everyone else, and Roy and Robin and Lucina and Corin and whatnot. But she could swing her sword different, and I feel she's different enough that that's where her smash attacks will be basic. I mean, there would be similarities because there's only so many ways you can pull a sword. But there's different ways of swinging the sword. She doesn't swing the sword exactly the same way as Mar or Ike or Lucina or whatever. So her smash attacks, and I always say it's like the most basic boring part of a character's moveset anyway. So I'd say her smash attacks will focus on her sword part of her moveset. The special attacks will focus on all her spells, all her magic and whatnot. And she doesn't use the same magic as, you know, you know, as Robin does. So there's different magic to her. To use like Robin uses stuff like Nosferatu and Elf Thunder and stuff like that, and stuff you know various spells. She does Thunder, but it's more like you know a different type of Thunder. It's a di like there's similarities in terms of Thunder and Fire because Selica uses Fire and Selica uses Thunder, which I know Co um, Robin uses as well. And she'd be more similar in the Fire category than Thunder because it's like Elf Thunder versus Thunder is like a different form of Thunder. So it's not the exact same, but it's not totally different. But it's a different type of Thunder. But he uses stuff like Nosferatu and whatnot. Uh, Salika doesn't use stuff like that. She uses basically <coughs> Seraphim. She uses Excalibur. She uses Recover, so she can have like maybe a healing magic. And I know in the game, when you use magic in Echoes, it hurts your person. I think that has to somehow be involved in her moveset as well. Like Robin, like the sword gets destroyed after you use it for a while. I think either something with the magic basically hurts you as you do it but only slightly not like big damage like maybe every time you use a magic you give yourself like one percent damage or something which is kind of like you lose like one health when you use magic in echoes anyway so i don't think it'll be that big a difference and it kind of is like a risk versus reward thing and it makes her a little different so it's like you're not focusing so much on the magic skills you have to focus on your sword ability as well and it kind of takes that ability from echoes which i know a lot of people don't like but i think that'd be a good way of kind of Risk versus reward, which goes back to my recovery spell thing. If you keep using 
fire, fire, Seraphim, Excalibur. And eventually you're like, recover! And you recover like three HP, but you have to maybe charge it, and then you have to recover it. So it's a risk versus reward thing, I think, for her special attacks. She, for her smash attacks, she just swings her sword around, does her jabs and her swipes and her uppercut sword things, whatever the heck else she does. But her special attacks would be all her magic stuff, like the fire, the Seraphim, Excalibur, and recover. And I think the damage... She does different spells than Robin, but she will receive some damage when she does it. It'll be like a Pichu situation, which I know a lot of people don't want back, but I think it'd be kind of cool to have that be like a risk versus reward thing. Like use spells accordingly, but don't overuse them or you'll hurt yourself. And then in the process, you get a recovery spell. So you don't, she'll probably be the one character that doesn't need items. I mean, you'll have to use items to heal more of your percentage because I think making recover, recover a lot of HP would be overpowered as hell. But recover should record maybe like 3 HP, but you have to charge it. And you have to basically risk versus reward, jump all over to a part of a stage where you can protect yourself, be safe, and use recovery. And like balance it out. Okay, I'm going to recover myself after I use four more spells, after three more spells. And just and then, okay, now I'll use a sword after I recover myself entirely. Like, it's risk versus reward thing. So it makes sure you don't rely too much on the magic. And then for her final smash, her big major spell in the game is Ragnarok, which is big freaking fire engulfing the opponent it's like freaking mario's finale which i do think at this point in time they need to change his final smash anyways so you, mario will be away from mario's finale probably something more odyssey based and then that similar effect where a big giant flame engulfs the stage and engulfs the opponents i think should be used for excalibur excalibur why i say excalibur ragnarok which will be Celica's final smash. She'll use Ragnarok. She'll shoot the fire across the stage. This will be her. This will be the stage. This will be the opponents. Which is basically what Ragnarok is. So it will be a modified version of Mario's finale. Which I think would work for her anyways. Because that's her big major spell. And she knows magic. So I focus on either that being her final smash. Or if Alm doesn't get in. Maybe Alm jumps in on the field. And they do a double team cinematic maneuver. Like a Shulk or a Mega Man or something like that. That could be your secondary final smash. If there's two. And Alm is not in the game. Or you want to pick that one instead of you know Ragnarok. But I picked Ragnarok because that's her big major spell. That's the final spell she learns in the game. And it's her big ultimate attack. And I'd like that to be a focus of her. Rather than relying on Alm. But if you want to make a final smash with Alm jumping in and them doing some cinematic double strike sword magic double team bull crap, you could do that too. Which actually would be kind of cool. And I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm just saying I think I'd rather focus on her and her alone and her doing Ragnarok. So that's my moveset idea. Focusing on sword swipes for the smash attacks, magic spells for her specials, which would basically be recover, you know, seraphim, fire, thunder, recover, which I think I just said already. Um, and then Ragnarok will be your final smash. Now we're on to the third category the percentage chance i could see her getting in the game and quite frankly right now i'm going to put her at around an 85 percent when i talked about fire 16 i basically gave them a 95 percent chance because i think soccer i might want to advertise the big return to home consoles the first hd fire emblem and this big new one coming up and he probably is talking to intelligence systems and probably getting that character and that character seems very very likely but if they're not doing that the set next best chance for a next fire emblem character which is bound to happen anyways because we get an, at least one new Fire Emblem character every single Smash Brothers game since Melee is someone from Echoes, and that would either be Alm or it would be Salika. And I'm giving her an 85% chance because she's the most pushed character from the, the most pushed of the two main characters. She's made it into Warriors, she's made it into Echoes, she's still heavily utilized. I mean, made it into Warriors and Heroes, I mean. And she's very heavily utilized, popular, and demanded for her, super recent, super re relevant, super everything. Maybe they could always include a Fire Emblem 16 character and someone from Echoes as well, which I don't have a problem with because they include like two newcomers in six, you know, in Smash Bros. 4 and then include Roy and Korin as DLC. So anything's possible, but I think she's possible. I just think an Echoes character is not as likely as a Fire Emblem 16 character. That's all I'm saying. But they're still very, very possible and right below the chances. 10% is not that big of a drop. Anyways, it's like I said from Spring Man to Ribbon Girl. I gave Ribbon Girl 85 and Spring Man 95. Firearm 16 character 95. Salika 85. Still very highly likely. Not guaranteed, but still very possible if they don't go for a Firearm 16 character. And that's my video. That's my number 20 character, Salika from Fire Emblem. Put in the comments below. What do you guys think about my reasons for why she should be in? What reasons do you think she should be in? Do you think she even should be in? What about my moveset ideas? What moveset ideas would you give her? And my 85% possibility 
Do you agree with it? Think it's lower? Think it's higher? What would you say? My name is Cyberpunk. Peace. Please subscribe if you want to. 